right. And then when I come to the bridge, what will I do? And say F sharp, minor. And then G. Oh, see, it's a mountain little song. It's not actually that complicated. <laughs> It was two years ago, and uh, son of Bush gave us his tax refund, right? I was against the tax refund. I'm against tax refund schemes in general. I think they're so we're giving people $500 and telling them to shut up, right? So they gave me my $500, and I thought, what's the best place I can put my $500? Local skate shop, right? When I tell you that the blood is going to run from Chavo Guerrero's eyes, you better come down to ringside and bring your handkerchief so you can dip it in the blood. You get hit with a hard punch, you could possibly die. That's the word on the street about Ox Baker. And if he hits you with a hard punch, you could land in the hospital or the grave. But after we explode, there were 11 takes. And, then, and they were like this. They were, the, they were me going, okay, so something like... And then like a room. With like a light. Then I got... Moat Piranhas, whose artwork is completely great because it has a piranha on it and piranhas are massively undervalued, I feel, in the current threatening creature economy. I think that the piranha is greatly underpraised. This is a song I consider misogynistic garbage. <laughs> like I read pop-up books, but I didn't think they were. Pop-up books kind of annoyed me because they break. You know, it's like you really, you get really into them and then they're toast, right? And I love you all so deeply. That I intend to father children with most of you, male and female alike. <laughs> and then we will repopulate the post nuclear Earth together with our mutant children. It's gonna be so great. So, but. The Hampton Inn is not taking the bait. We're just skating with total freedom. If either they're, either they're waiting for the cops to arrive or they don't give a rat. The hell of a thing that happen to you if you just went in maybe trying to wrestle scientifically. Yeah. The goddamn good guy baby face going in there to the vessel like and do the holds and the moves and the Ox Baker comes around and he's six foot four and he has a handlebar mustache. And he'll punch you straight in the goddamn heart as soon as look at you. All those got used. Uh, blunt instrument rag has not yet, uh, because obviously I don't know how to play a right ragtime, but now that we have Matt Douglas, uh, you know, I think... Uh, <laughs> oh, this is a stupid song. I don't think many of you will know it, uh, but I'm pretty sure I can play it without having even thought of it, because it's just that stupid. Uh. If you see the happy pigs at Farm Sanctuary in upstate New York, you want to be one of those pigs, because they get to get as fat as they want and they're unselfconscious and they're lying in mud and it just looks magnificent. And I, like, I see a glow of some back there. If you're pointing a cell phone camera at me and I catch you, I'm gonna flush it. I will interrupt the song to take the cell phone to the bathroom. Plus the one I was still working on at the time. It never got finished. It was called Going to Federal Prison. <laughs> I still remember the chorus. Wait. I grab hold of your hand, bring it up to my mouth. We're gonna run out of land, gonna run out of land if we keep heading south. <laughs> I don't love you anymore, you got no manners. You got no manners at all, you got no manners. You got no manners, you got no manners at all, you got no manners. And then as if he hadn't gotten his point across, you got no manners. You got no manners at all, you got no manners.